Welcome to the Tom Reefer Studio, guys. New viewers. This is the 20 gallon cube mixed reef. And up here is the 3.5 gallon Pico. We're going to replace that with this 5 gallon. And I'm going to show new viewers and beginners how to set up a reef tank. Here's the 6 gallon tall and the 10 gallon peninsula reef. So let's get into it. Today I'm going to show you how to start a new nano reef. A very basic method, easy, and very effective. And the way I'm going to do that is by replacing my 3.5 gallon Pico with a 5 gallon nano reef. All right, so what you have here, guys, is a 5 gallon. And after I put rock in, it'll probably be a little less. But this is considered an all-in-one, and it's an all-in-one because of this right here. So the video is not about what aquarium you should buy. It's just about the basics, how-to, and a little bit of the science on how to get your reef tank started. But you would probably want an all-in-one tank to start, and an all-in-one tank has the main display and then it has either a compartment or compartments for filters, for pumps, and for your overflow. And I'll explain what all that is in a minute. All right, so let's take a look inside the Pico Reef. What you're going to need to put in your tank is number one, salt water. And I'll go show you how that's mixed up. I have some mixing already. What I'm doing is I'm setting up what's called a Berlin method. That means the rock that I'm putting in the new aquarium is called live rock. It already has bacteria growing on it, so it doesn't have to go through the cycle. It's already done that. So basically, I have a guy that I get all my stuff from, Fish Guy Mike. He sells his stuff out of his garage. There's another section in here. It's where you do all your breeding. It looks like you got your... So what I did is I got a few more pieces of live rock to add to the new setup, and I have them in fresh salt water waiting to be put into the tank. Let's head into the bathroom. That's where my fish room is. This isn't the fish room, this is the studio. Let's head into the bathroom. That's where I mix everything. I mix the salt, I clean stuff in there. So let's head in there and I'll show you what I got going on in there. The salt, all the good stuff is in there. So we got the fire alarm on now in the building. All right, here's my uh, fish room bathroom. I got the live rock I just got from Fish Guy Mike. In the small container. Beginners, this is the way I like to do it. I like to bring it home and put it in a separate container first. Clean it off a little, maybe just rinse it, maybe with a little brush if I see any algae on it. Here's the salt water mixing up. This is 1.025 salinity. That's what I like to keep it at. They have hydrometers that are cheaper and those little plastic things, but they're not super accurate, guys. This hydrometer is really accurate. And the temperature, there it is, see it? This is an infrared thermometer, it's awesome. It'll actually measure the temperature through an object. So here's straight down, watch if I come in the side, it's still doing the same because it goes through it. And here's a little bit of the live sand I got. Fish guy might. Much. I thought he was going to give me enough to cover the bottom of the new tank, but I'll take some from my 20 gallon 
I'll rinse this off. If you can see, there's some, that's dirty water right there. That's from inside the sand bag, but that won't hurt it. I'm gonna rinse it out with fresh salt water and make all that go away. I'm used to this, that. guys. This beginner stuff is hard to explain. What we're going to do is take out the live rock and the corals that are in here and we're going to put them in the new tank. Now you can do the same thing that I'm doing, it's just that everything is here already. So what you'll need to do, you'll need to get live rock at your local fish store. Or you can order online. However, then you're required to go through a whole cycling period, and I'll talk a little bit about cycling in a minute. So, see what I'm doing for the new viewers, guys? Beginners, showing them a nice setup. Nice and easy, it'll be good. Cultured live rock is its live rock that's gone through the nitrogen cycle already. If you don't know what the nitrogen cycle is in really as easiest terms as I can say is bacteria will start to consume waste from animals. So when you add fish to a tank or anything, corals, any kind of organic matter will decompose and create ammonia. And then nature comes on and let's call it good bacteria. That's the easiest way I can think about it. Good bacteria comes on and consumes the ammonia and converts it to nitrite. And then more bacteria comes on and consumes the nitrite into a less toxic nitrate. Ammonia will kill your fish, so you can't just put fish in and expect them to live. Nitrate is tolerable to most animals you'll put in there. Zero parts per million, I've heard up as high as 100 parts per million are fine with fish-only tanks. If you're doing a reef tank, then you probably want to be under 30 or 30 or under. The lower, in my opinion, the better if you're down around one or two parts per million, up to five, that would be fine. All right, here's a little better look of an all-in-one rise. And this is what you're gonna need. I'll take everything out and then show you one at a time. Here's the tank. This is what makes it an all-in-one. If I had a preference, I probably would want a little bit of a larger compartment back here. This is somewhat of an economy tank. It was from PetSmart, and I just wanted something that was more clear than my 3.5 gallon. It just wasn't what I wanted. Even an inexpensive tank like this will have far better clarity than the one that I have there. This was about $70 for this whole setup. It comes with a light, which I don't know if I'd recommend. And it came with the pump. And that's about it. And a little filter, but you won't be using that. All right, so this is the tank, the pump, goes down inside here and then you'll have this is your return hose that's connected to the pump and gets connected up to your return flow all right what I'm gonna do is set this tank up and get it reef ready
guys. What I've done here is I turned the pump off. I'm just going to take some sand out of the back. I really don't need it in here. And I'm going to put the sand in here. And then I'll just pour the water back in because I did a, actually I've done two water changes on this in the past two weeks. So I don't want to take any more water out. All right. I don't know. I don't know. These big projects are hard. Lighting's probably like garbage. Just deal with it and go with the information. I thought I had more sand in there. It was hardly worth that at all. So I'll have to get more sand. I have some from Fish Guy Mike. I'll put that in and see what it looks like. I took a ride to Fish Guy Mike's, guys. I got some live sand for the new tank and I got a few new pieces of rock let me show you what I did with the rock. I was thinking about how to aquascape this because the rock that is in the Pico is going to be a little bit small. I just got some two small pieces to add to the new tank. So let me show you what I did with those rocks. <laughs> It's a good idea to get this for your tank underneath it. It's cut to size. You can get it on Amazon. It comes in a roll. And what it's for, if it's resting slightly on level, the neoprene will, number one, keep it from scratching the cabinet it's on or tabletop. And it will also seek level. So it's kind of cushiony. And that's what that's for. So I cut a piece to match the exact footprint, as we would say. All right, let's put this up on the shelf and start getting it going here, guys, all right? 